Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'll be unboxing and setting up the Elgato HD60S video capture device for live streaming digital art with OBS Studio. The Elgato HD60S can capture HD video from just about any device that outputs unprotected HDMI. Typically, people use this for live streaming games, but I plan to use it for live streaming digital art. I'll connect my Canon Vixia HF G30 camcorder and that will give me a much clearer and much more detailed image than what I was getting with my Logitech C930 webcam. The camcorder also offers many more camera controls than the webcam does. This will allow me to live stream in a wider range of lighting conditions, such as outdoors, for example. In addition to live streaming, I also plan to record videos with this device. The Elgato HD60S uses a USB 3.0 connection to connect to your computer, which means that there's virtually no lag when recording and streaming. There's also a PCIe version that goes inside your computer, but I got this one because I want it to be portable. The HD60S video capture quality goes up to 40 megabytes per second, and the HD60 Pro PCIe version goes up to 60 megabytes per second, so the PCIe version is capable of capturing better quality video. However, my Canon Vixia camcorder maxes out at 24 megabytes per second, so the extra speed is not a benefit in my case. To put things in perspective though, my Logitech webcam maxes out at around 4 megabytes per second, so the image I'm able to capture is 10 times better by using the camcorder with the Elgato. The HDMI cable that's included with the Elgato is way too short for what I want to do with it, so I'm using a much longer cable that I purchased separately. This will allow me to place my camcorder behind me with enough slack to reach the back of my computer behind my desk. If I were painting outdoors, I'd also need this cable to be long to span the distance between myself and the camera. I also need an HDMI to HDMI mini adapter because my camcorder's output is HDMI mini. You can find this for cheap on Amazon, and I'll put links to all this in the video description. After connecting everything, I'll go to Elgato's website and download the driver and install it. Next, I'll restart my computer, and then I'll open OBS Studio, which is the software I use for live streaming. The Elgato does come with a free live streaming program you can install, but I'm used to using OBS, and I like the amount of customization it offers, so I'm going to stick with that. If you don't care to customize anything and you just want to stream, the Elgato software might be easier to use. So in OBS, I'll need to create a scene and then add a source. The source will be video capture device, and then I'll choose the Elgato. At first, the Elgato didn't show up in this list, but restarting my computer seemed to fix that. So if your Elgato isn't showing up, try restarting, and if that doesn't work, you could also try a different USB port. Make sure the port you're connecting to is USB 3.0, otherwise you'll probably get lag or skipping in your video. To maximize the video quality, I'll also need to customize the device in OBS by choosing 1920 by 1080 for the resolution and 60 for the frames per second or FPS. There's also a setting within the Elgato that controls video quality, so I'll click on configure video and make sure all the settings are the way I want. I'll go ahead and boost the saturation a little bit because the video is capturing a little more desaturated than how it looks in real life. And I think that's looking pretty good. Now as you can see, I'm using the camcorder behind me to capture my Wacom Cintiq 27 QHD Touch as I paint. Above the Cintiq, I have an HDTV that shows me a preview of what my live stream looks like, and it lets me adjust the broadcast on the fly. The 10x increase in video quality means my live streams will look crisp and not blurry. The added control of the camcorder means I can better control the appearance and lighting of the video. And the ability to capture at 60 frames per second means that quick movements of my hand remain fluid and don't get choppy or blurry. It just feels more like you're really there looking over my shoulder, and it looks way more professional. Overall, I'm very pleased with this device. If you have a camera or camcorder that outputs a live HDMI signal and you want to replace your webcam with something much better, this is the way to go. You can do a search online or browse your manual to determine if your device does support live HDMI output, or you can just try connecting your device via HDMI to your HDTV, and if you see a live signal when your camera's on, then you should be able to capture that with the Elgato. It also works great for connecting your video game consoles to record and live stream games. You can get one for yourself on Amazon using the link in the description of this video. If you found this review helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more digital art gear reviews and digital art live streams. So make sure to subscribe to my channel today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.